I know this guy named Tate, who is a project manager, and Tate grew up in Michigan, a state in the U.S. that has a lot of freshwater lakes. If you look at a map, of the state of Michigan, it is nearly surrounded by freshwater lakes called the Great Lakes. And there are thousands of other smaller inland lakes in the state. So my friend Tate loves all things water, water sports, fish, swimming, boating, even surfing, even though there's not really any real surfing on the Great Lakes. Anyway, his desire to live near water is deeply embedded in his nature. A few years back, Tate was working on a project in Baltimore, Maryland, another state in the U.S., that has a lot of water surrounding it. At that time, Tate, my friend, was living in a small resort town minutes from the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean. He was surrounded by water. He felt comfortable. Anyway, back to the project. During an initial meeting with the project team. My friend Tate was asked to su to suggest some team building exercises. Now, maybe he should have, but he had not planned on this. So thinking quickly, he made several suggestions with the group, which the group seemed receptive to. But the last suggestion he made got an unfavorable response, and he was shocked. He suggested that the team go kayaking. Now, Tate loves water sports because he's used to living around water. And he figured, well, Baltimore, Balmer, Baltimore has a lot of, of water. So these guys, these Baltimore folks, probably like water sports too. However, when Tate suggested that the team go kayaking, they laughed at him. And he was trying to figure out why. He thought after a while that, okay, maybe kayaking wasn't as an inclusive activity as some of the other ones he could he had come up with. Maybe there were some people who never really thought of water as recreation like that. Tate was feeling what was natural to him. He made a, a suggestion, a suggestion that felt natural to him and he assumed he assumed since these were folks who grew up by water like i did they'd like kayaking but that group in baltimore felt differently um they said some of his other ideas were good but kayaking would never go over with a baltimore-based team i don't know maybe maybe not but he was aware tate my friend was aware that he had made some assumptions about a group that was much more diverse than he had considered so to be an inclusive leader Leader. We must recognize the people different from each other in their likes and dislikes, traits, their talents, their tendencies, and their capabilities. The combination of these things makes each individual's nature.